Hey there, my name is Provis and welcome back to more City Skylines in Praetoria. You can see we have a bit of a crisis on our hands. And this was probably inevitable, but um, I, I really need to find a way to solve it or else we're going to have a lot of problems. So basically this blue icon that's flashing says we don't have enough goods to sell. So in other words, the consumer demand is outpacing our ability to supply goods from our industrial districts to the city. And that makes sense to an extent, right? Because, I mean, I haven't really expanded my industrial area until very recently down here in the Steinworks, which, by the way, let's go ahead and rename with an extra N. There we go. Um, so we haven't really been producing very much. We've had to rely very heavily upon imports as our commercial district continues to grow. And we haven't been upgrading our infrastructure to deliver goods from our industry into this area a little bit better. So as the traffic continues to get worse and worse, as our ability to produce goods locally continues to uh, be insufficient for our needs, uh, it was inevitable that at some point it was going to be too hard to deliver goods, trucks were going to start despawning, and then we're going to have a crisis in our commercial districts. So this is all a pretty significant problem. Um, I'm going to try to reduce my taxes for the industrial a little bit to try and encourage a bit more growth and demand on this front so I can start producing more locally. We'll see how much good that ends up doing for me, but my, I might actually have too many uh, office buildings. And then, then, we've noticed a lot of other backups and problems. For example, I set up, down over here, a handful of cargo terminals because I was expecting that we were going to be producing a lot of goods and then wanting to get it onto a ship and onto a train and so on and send those into the city or get them out of the city in some way. Or have a whole bunch of imports come in, which is what's been happening. But then you see we've kind of got a crippling backup of trains and this is, um, this is a real serious issue. So the question then becomes, what the frick do I do about it? So I'm watching some of these trains and for some reason a lot of them are trying to go in toward the area of the Corgi Butt Farms because this is the closest train station physically to a lot of the destinations, hence why for some reason the game says this is the best way to go, even if there are better ways to get to your end destination, let's say down over here. And then I was looking at this and trying to figure out what the heck is going on, and you see there's a whole load of cars built up. So I've made a small change. This was a two-way street, and I was watching some of these cars and checking some of their, uh, their traffic patterns to figure out what they were doing. And right now, it's turning around and heading off this direction toward the highway, which is great. What it was doing, and you can see it's still here, is they were traveling down here because they're getting out of the, uh, tra the train station. They turn right. It's too hard to turn left, apparently. So they turn right, and then they go around here, and they do a big loop-de-loop -loop so they can then turn around and go down this road and then get onto what was a one-way road onto the highway. That's stupid! So, instead, I've turned this into a one-way road so that you can get out immediately and then go off this direction, then turn over here, and then boom, problem solved. So this should start to clear itself out. My hope is that we are going to start uh, clearing out a bit faster in the Corgi Butt Farms, and this is going to increase my capacity for these trains. However, I've also added in a small little junction over here, so that it's easier for trains to not go through the Corgi Butt Farms area, and instead go this direction toward the main city. So I'm trying to just kind of facilitate that as much as is possible. But you can see that the trains are pretty slow. I don't know why this one had to slow down. It's almost as if it had to wait for a train to leave before it turned left. That shouldn't be an issue. I don't really know what's going on there. Anyway, other options to try and boost up our delivery of goods closer to their end destination will include placing, let's say, some additional cargo uh, dockyards closer to the city. So let's say we wanted to place one over, I don't know, how about here? Something like this would be fine. And maybe one off in the corner, kind of like this. Alright? We're going to try for that, and we're going to see if this helps us out very much. Here's my decision, right? We've done what we can to unclog. It's not enough. What this tells me is, we now need to have ways of dropping off goods basically directly in the city. The problem with this is I'm probably going to need to demolish uh, a few blocks in order to now set up some sort of train delivery system. I might even have the trains mostly traveling underground, but the goal will be to turn a block into a set of one-way uh, roads, a big roundabout basically, where we can have a train station, unload all the trucks, and then let them disperse really close to their commercial district. Okay, so you can kind of get a sense of what I'm shooting for here. Here's three train stations in a row that hopefully are strategically placed in a good enough spot that they will be able to disperse some goods 
throughout the city. Now, the real question is here, uh, have I got enough space in order to get these guys underground, and is that going to interfere with my metro? The answer is yes, I can get underground. The downside is no, getting around the metro is going to be a bit difficult, but not impossible. I just have to be willing to go deeper underground. Okay, so in theory, this is now done. So we've got a train line, very expensive train line, that now goes all the way from this main line down here up to a cargo station, under the city, to a cargo station, through the city to a cargo station, then this way, and I had a passenger train decide to go ahead and drop off at a university just in case, and then it goes all the way back up until it managed to join back up with the train line. Let's see if this makes much of a difference. I imagine it will. I'm questioning whether I am able to handle this. But we'll find out soon enough. I am tempted to try and get some one-way roads that drop off, like, into the city instead of onto the main avenue. But I somehow suspect that that's going to come back to bite me as people start looking down the boulevard and are like, We can take a shortcut across the train yard to get over to Franklin Street. And that wouldn't be good. Suppose another thing we could do is literally create a dedicated train yard right over here along this area of the highway. And the idea of this being, of course, to uh, simply relieve some pressure down the line by giving people an opportunity to offload some goods or load up some goods uh, over here. Uh, and have it go directly to the highway and nothing else. This is not a set of roads that will go through the town, as we are seeing happen over here. A bunch of cars getting off of the highway, then traveling all this way to then get over here, and then go over here, and then go to the train yard. Too much! Too much traffic! So this might give us an opportunity to preempt people who were heading down that direction, and instead, they can just pop over into this train yard to drop off their goods, or pick up new ones, then head over to the highway, and then take the toll roads to get in. I don't know, I'm desperate at this point. I'm looking for anything that can help relieve some of the pressure that I'm seeing here, because I was not expecting this. Could I delete one of these boatyards? Absolutely. Would that do me any good? Not really, because uh, we're going so slow, it will just continue to pile up in the same yard. So it doesn't do a dang thing for me. One problem I'm also seeing is just in general, too many trains trying to go along here, and they're so long that they block each other from continuing to move. I've never tried this before. Do you think that, like, maybe a train roundabout could be a thing? Never tried doing this before, but I mean, there are one-way uh, rail tracks, so, like, maybe? Let me, uh, let me experiment a little bit. Let's see if this helps. The answer is no, not entirely. Not unless you make it large enough to house an entire train at every single stop so that traffic is able to continue flowing. Does bigger make it better? No, bigger does not really make it better. Again, same problems. I mean, yeah, we're seeing some traffic get through. Like, car the trains that want to go down this direction are now able to do so, whereas they weren't really before. So that's good, question mark. We're actually seeing a little bit of movement, but it's not going to be enough. Okay, let's think this through a little bit more intelligently then. What would I do if this were a highway? Answer, I would create dedicated lanes for every destination. Okay, let's try something like this. Lots of different lanes all kind of competing with each other. Well, all of a sudden, hang on. Deleting a few trains certainly helps. Uh, we got a small issue with oncoming trains. But one quick tunnel going down this way seems to have helped a little bit. So now it's partially a question of how quickly can we unload goods onto a new ship. And as long as they keep stacking on top of each other like this, the answer is pretty quickly. Getting goods out of the city is way easier than getting them back in. Okay, hang on, guys. Uh, we seem to have at least stopped the traffic jam. And now I've created a junction of breaking up one-way lanes over here for these trains as well, and that does seem to be helping. Not sure how they choose to prioritize certain types of cargo uh, hubs, but they do. Anyway, so this seems to be at least a little bit better. Okay, and everything seems to be good down here. Holy crap. Okay, so... This is still doing its thing. This one's active, at least. Um, we're starting to see trains really taking advantage of the city terminals that I built up. Let's take a look down over here. Yeah, so I am seeing quite a few trucks being used over here, and this is the new thing that I'm really worried about is that we're going to find ourselves in a situation where we have a whole mess of cars entering and no good way to deal with it. Now, one thing to note over here, do I need a traffic light, really? I mean, yeah, we have the trams. That complicates the situation just a little bit, but 
Could I dedicate two lanes here for turning? And then we have tram lines here, two lanes here. And then can I just turn this into a yield sign and we find that this solves the issue here as well? Well, let's see. Um, I'm a little bit worried about the whole tram situation, but as long as the trams don't crash, um, maybe this is a faster way of cycling through cars rather than having a light that was otherwise backing up traffic over here. Okay, guys, guys, we seem to be actually making some progress. Now, the new question is, what the heck can I do about the Corgi Butt Farms? Can we make this any better? The cars appear to actually be resetting themselves. This is the next area that I feel like I really need to redesign because it was woefully unprepared to deal with the traffic demand. Maybe a roundabout, since the issue was partly throughput. Part of the other issue is just as general backup. It takes too long to offload cargo, but this might help a little bit. So, dare we turn this back on and see what happens, because the train situation is currently solved and goods are getting into the city, generally speaking. Uh, although, wow, okay, yeah, again, look how slow they are to get in here! Ah! I mean, realistically, that makes sense, but at the same time, ah, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Anyway, let's just sort of see what happens with this. Now that we're able to start generating some trains and dropping off goods over here, we might find that we're actually able to start handling capacity again. Fun fact, by the way, I've been spending so much time trying to solve this issue, I have completely ignored everything else that we have been working on. Oops. Uh, all right, let's, um... Let's go ahead and start zoning some stuff again, because I'm pretty sure we still would like to build out our own local industry. And I'll bet you guys thought that I totally forgot about Mr. Tweeter's shiny emporium, and that's because I kind of did, but I've been building it out a little bit, um, and now we have ore industry storage, fiberglass plants, uh, all this other cool stuff, maintenance buildings, larger mines underground, blah, blah, blah. Um, it is slow, sort of kind of turning a profit, not an outstanding one, but it is turning out a profit, trying to produce some more glass and stuff. Um, I do see our warehouses are generally able to offload, so we should be okay on that front. I'm not seeing a lot of cars traveling toward the train station, which is a little concerning, but oh well, that'll be fine. Another thing we could do is start opening up, you know, uh, an oil field over in this direction. I'm sure people would love that. That could be good. Yeah, what do you think? Should we open up an oil field? I don't want to open up an oil field right now. Or do I? I don't know. I'm thinking about it. Traffic of trains, still mostly completely under control. All is okay, except for, guess what? The freaking cargo terminal over here. Oh my god, it just keeps going for freaking ever, doesn't it? Okay, so clearly we need some sort of a roundabout over here, because part of the problem is I can't get cars out of here fast enough. So here's another place that I need to go and redesign! Okay, is this gonna be a little bit better? It sure looks like it's gonna be a little bit better. Kinda got a weird dumbbell thing going on over here. This is getting increasingly chaotic, and I don't think I much appreciate it. You know, one of the whole points of the series was to be a bit more methodical as I go, but, uh, you know, we are we are making some, oh gosh dang it, we're not delivering goods again. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, no, I, I was expecting to be a little bit more methodical and a little bit less scrambling to make everything work. This train station is the issue for absolute sure. The problem is the gosh dang corgi butt farms. 100%. Question is, what do I do about it? Look at this. We're starting to create some traffic jams over here again. No. No, 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 no. All right, all right, all right. Um, I don't think train stations are going to end up being the way to go here um, at the corgi butt farms. It was great for a while, but I'm pretty confident it is causing a lot more trouble than it is worth, and it is slowing down everything in my entire city. At some point, it is better to say, you know what, we'll have to take the farms on uh, on the highway. We'll deliver the goods that way. Rather than continue clogging up literally everything else. Oh, great. My park chessboard is on fire. Well, that just is a kick in the teeth. Oh, God. We're having issues over here again. Oh, this road. Okay. Um... Next thing to do is to finally go ahead and work on that highway that I've said I'm going to do for the last, like, four or five episodes. It is time to get the highway going, and, uh, yeah, this is actually going to be a small problem because I'd really like to not get rid of all of my on-ramps, off-ramps. I still want people to be able to easily get into the city itself, if possible, so what I may want to do... 
I don't want to go through Dixie Park. What if I demolished all of this over Old Town and had the highway travel up along this direction, following the railroad? Yes. Gosh, what a nightmare this is all going to turn into. Good luck, floating cars. I hope you find your way down. Whee! Oh, yep, there they all go. Whew, okay. Yeah, lots, um, lots of traffic expected in this particular circle, but with a really good roundabout, I'm hoping we can still make it work. Of course, I still have to get these gosh dang lanes all set up, or else it's not gonna do me a whole lot of good now, is it? So, yay. This is, um, yeah. This is, this is rapidly reaching the point of the game where everything takes forever to do. And as a result, it's really hard for me to continue recording this because I can't afford to spend four or five hours per video all the time, which is basically what I'm doing right now. Once you factor in editing. So, um, as much as I hate to say it, I'm not saying right now, but pretty soon, I think we're gonna have to start wrapping this thing up. But I'm not done yet because I still haven't managed to fully realize my dream and build out the map the way that I wanted to. So we got a lot of work to go still. Don't you worry, we're not done. Well, I don't see this issue solving itself anytime soon. I've tried to improve the roundabout. I can only do so much at this point. So let's try a different approach entirely. I am going to build out a highway, which you can already see I'm doing here, all the way up this direction. Yep, it's going to be a fairly expansive investment, but I, hopefully it will do some work for us. Uh, this is always kind of the plan. I mean, not quite this squiggly, exactly, but this is always the plan was to have a highway come down this direction. My hope is that a lot of the industry coming out of the Steinworks is trying to get to the highway up over here, and that's why we're seeing a major backlog. If we give them another avenue to get onto the main highway system down over this way, well, then maybe we can prevent a lot of trucks that are trying to get off of the... Uh, uh, the cargo ships to give them a better path to get directly onto the highway, and these guys don't have to go north, they can just go south directly over here, and then boom, maybe kind of sort of problem solved? We're gonna keep an eye on this, there's a few major vulnerabilities, and this roundabout is probably going to be one of them, but we will see. Zookdaloo, I just realized I never actually did finish out connecting the uh, highway over here, well that might be part of the problem, because no car is gonna get on the highway traveling up in this direction, if, uh, they know there's nowhere to go. I literally built a bridge to nowhere. Hang on. There we go. Okay, hopefully that ends up helping. The traffic here is truly nightmarish. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Ah, oh, it goes all the way back to the main city. Yeah, yeah, that's a lot of people trying to go this direction. But let's keep an eye on it. Let's see what happens. The roundabout is definitely dealing with a lot of traffic. It's just never going to be enough. At this current rate. At least this direction seems to be freeing up just a smidge might be helpful to have some sort of outlets off in this direction as well. Not necessarily an inlet from the uh, highway into, let's say, Mr. Tweeter's Shiny Emporium, but if people want to leave this area, this could be a free way to get onto the highway without too much trouble. I don't know. We'll keep an eye on some of this. Let's just sort of see how it does. I'm a little bit concerned about this area in particular. I can already see that we have a bit of a traffic jam set up at these roads, but we'll keep an eye on it. Alrighty. I feel like we've done nothing this episode except try to deal with all of the various different traffic issues that are smothering our city. And this is kind of what happens when you get really large. Every little point of failure ends up becoming disastrous at some point. I am seeing traffic that's easing up in this direction, so this is a good sign. Well, I say easing up. I mean, it's going somewhere. But look at this. There we go. There we go. Use the highways, guys. Use the highways. I like it. We haven't built any new districts, though. And that feels kind of wrong. Let's go ahead and do something. Let's try building out, let's say, uh, an oil field. I think we are overdue for the final industry of the game. What to call it, though? How about the Shadow Oil Fields? Or something like that. Maybe Shadow ONG? There we go. Oil and gas. Yeah, why not? Shadow ONG. That's going to be what we're going to call this sucker. All right. So just like before, we need to place down some roads. And under our industries, we go to the oil industry. We will need to place down an oil industry main building. Plop, and there we go. Small oil pumps and then an oil sludge pyrolysis plant. Man, that sounds that sounds just charming, doesn't it? And, of course, some form of storage. It's going to work exactly the same as just about everything else. We are going to extract some form of a raw resource. Fortunately, oil pumps are extremely small, but you have to space them apart from each other at least a bit. Otherwise, they're going to uh, kind of step on each other's toes. A smidge. So we'll do something kind of like this. Get some oil producing that away. And then, of course, we need to be getting ourselves some way of processing that into something useful. We turn the raw oil into petroleum. 
So like petroleum products for like plastics and stuff. Not necessarily gasoline, though that is certainly an option. We'll place down a couple of these. And then we do want to have some form of storage. Something like this should be enough to kind of get us going. And then of course, as usual, let's not forget we do want to have a very basic warehouse. A medium one over here should probably be more than enough. So we'll place you down here and then we're going to store some petroleum products. Boom! All right, as long as we can get all of our utilities set up down this direction, that's a whole new industry up and running. How's the traffic doing over here now that we're having a chance to clear through it? It's getting somewhere. The backup still goes all the way to the main city, so it's hardly solved. Though we have managed to get to a point where the traffic is really only having problems from one specific direction. Um, wondering if there's another way we can do this that would make this a little bit better. Maybe this is one of the rare exceptions where I could justify having two lanes coming off over here. Why can't I do this? Space already occupied. Eh, we might be able to make something work here. But two lanes offsetting out over here might help a little bit just to get people the heck out of here faster. Uh, alternatively, I don't know. We need to give these guys another way to get to their final destination. What is some of these guys' final destination? Let's take a look at you, for example. Returning to facility, Cargo Harbor. Yeah, they're going all the way down over here. Yep, this is literally just the leftover traffic of people trying to get down to the harbors. I really would like to think that that will solve itself with the existence of this highway, but for some reason, people don't want to go down this direction as much. Really couldn't tell you why that's the case. It is worth noting that as we have continued to improve the traffic situation and make use of the space elevator, a lot of the lack of customers is starting to disappear over here. There are still a few places suffering, but not, not as bad as it was. And goods, for the most part, are successfully being delivered over here. Same deal in the fun deck. This is actually having more trouble than a lot of other places. But it's getting somewhere, and there's certainly an avenue for trucks to arrive. I mean, as you can see, the trucks are constantly streaming into the city in this general area, so... Something's working, at least. We're, we're definitely solving the problems of the main city. Now it's just a matter of dealing with all of this nonsense, but take a look! Take a look! We've given it a little time to process, and all of a sudden, a lot of the cars have successfully processed into this area. Excellent! Okay, so I think the addition of the extra highway as an artery through here is definitely doing its job. Ah, oh, never mind, we found a new problem. <laughs> I knew this gosh dang roundabout was gonna be an issue. Okay. Where is the issue? Um, the issue is we have a traffic light here for no reason. Yep, yep, that's not supposed to be there. Get out, please. Y'all know where you're supposed to go. Just go ahead and start flowing, dang it. There's absolutely no reason for this to be this bad. Uh, I did set up a yield sign over here. Apparently people are very bad at this whole yielding thing. Like, that was not a yield, I'll tell you straight up. I watched that guy. That guy deserves a ticket. Anyway, what else is going on, though? Where are we having other issues? It looks like it's just a matter of getting the roundabout to continue to flow. I don't see any traffic lights anywhere immediately causing issues. Could be down there, but if I saw a backup, I'd be more inclined to think that's the problem. You probably don't need to have a light as well. Same issue. And then this is mostly going to be a yield area. This is going to be the priority traffic. It's fun, by the way, having come out of Europe. Um, I recognize these symbols now. This is not... This is not something used in the United States to say that it is a priority route, but there you go. So, wait, why are you guys not going... Oh, wait, because there's a light here, too. Dang it! Um, Alright, tell you what. New plan here is to do the same thing. No light, and you are going to yield to the main traffic like so. If people want to go straight through, that is the goal. Prioritize flow at all costs. And then a light over here. Same problem. Yeah, I'm just going to get rid of a bunch of these and see if this helps. And let's not lose track of the fact that the Foxy Trot City Zoo has successfully reached level 5. Congratulations, Foxy Trot! You are my latest achievement. This is taken care of. Fan flip and tastic. Alright. Looking pretty good in a lot of these places. Oh, sorry, college students. Didn't mean to leave you without water there. <laughs> Hilarious. Laser Marks Land. I did place down the additional facilities, so that's all looking pretty good. And I want to create some additional districts, but let's be honest. I've spent this entire episode fixing issues, and I'm not going to be able to continue working on this. So we're going to end this video here, I believe. Now, uh, we are rapidly reaching a point where it is taking me so many hours to produce a single episode of City Skylines that I have to continue pulling back on my production schedule, or I'm going to have to end the series entirely. I don't think we're there yet, um, but let's see how next episode goes. If I can solve all the issues, 
for our traffic, especially down over here, since this is the new major problem area, I think will be okay. I was able to turn on the train over here at the Corgi Butt Farms, by the way, and it's helped, though it's not been perfect by any stretch. You can see that we're still having some issues with trains. So this, I think I have to keep turning on and off periodically and see what happens there. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, it ask to hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, hit the notify bell, and I will see you guys next time. Ha <laughs> ha!